What can be more fascinating than exploring the rich history and breathtaking landscapes of Crete Island? On the island of Crete, there are many lovely towns and villages, each with its own distinct history and charm. While most visitors are familiar with Heracleion, Chania, and Rhythmno, these well-developed coastal towns are unlikely to provide an authentic Cretan experience. Traditional villages steeped in ancient Greek mythology can be found further east or south on the island. There are charming boutique hotels in historical Vetinian mansions, spa hotels, all-inclusive resorts designed for family fun and self-catering apartment complexes on Crete. Most visitors prioritize a beach hotel with a large pool, especially during the summer. There are peaceful rural inns in the hills as well as friendly family-run guest houses in outlying harbor villages. Welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we will discuss 10 best towns and villages you must visit in Crete Island. Before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to get notified when we update videos like this one. Here are some suggestions for places to stay in Crete. Let's get into the countdown! Heracleion Most visitors to the island arrive in Heracleion, which has a marina and an international airport. Heracleion is the ideal starting point for your exploration of Crete's two major archaeological sites, Gnosis Palace and Paestos Palace. The region itself is lovely, with beautiful beaches to explore and a lively town full of Venetian era hidden gems. Crete Island's capital city is very modern, but you can get a sense of everyday island life by strolling along its waterfront and miles of sandy beaches. If visiting ancient Gnosis is on your bucket list, staying in the old town allows you to beat the crowds. The majority of Heracleion's museums and major monuments are easily accessible by foot, as many streets in the city center are pedestrianized and traffic-free. The coolest fortress at the Venetian harbor is a major landmark in Heracleion. Rhythmno A classic setting completed with mansions and churches. Rhythmno is located on Crete's northern coast and offers a mix of modern amenities and historic landmarks. Boutique hotels occupy buildings in the old town, while sea-facing hotels line a long sandy crescent stretching from the east end of Rhythmno. The city has a rather traditional style with Venetian fortifications and mansions, Orthodox and Catholic churches, and mosques to explore. The Venetian harbor of Rhythmno is a lively scene of docked fishing boats, as well as tavernas, cafes, and bars with excellent sea views. Explore the spectacular Milly Gorge, Arcadi Monastery, and the mountains of Siloritis and Lifka Ori on a day trip from Rhythmno. On the hill above Rhythmno town is a Venetian fortress known locally as Fortiza, which offers a spectacular view of the sea and the town. Malia Malia's main road divides the town into two sections, the Old Town and the two-kilometer-long Malia Beach. Most visitors are drawn to the wide but crowded beach, which has sunbeds, umbrellas, and water sports, as well as a vibrant nightlife scene. The old town of Malia has narrow streets and courtyards lined with old houses and beautiful gardens for a more relaxed atmosphere. The central church of St. Nectarios, the church of Panagia Gratiani, and Agios Aeones, which dates from the Venetian period, all are must-sees. Malia is about 33 kilometers east of Heraklion and can be reached by bus from the Heraklion port passenger station. Malia's two kilometer long beach is ideal for sunbathing and swimming. Chania Chania is Crete's second largest city with many attractions within walking distance of one another. A decent beach with cafe and bars is only a 10 minute bus ride from the town center. During the summer, it's frequently crowded with vacationers looking to swim, sunbathe, and participate in water sports. On Sauda Bay, there are also several beaches west of town around Agia Marina and east of Kalami and Calives. Some of the most popular things to do in China include shopping in old-fashioned market streets, relaxing in a harborside cafe, and bar hopping after dinner. You can also visit the Chania Archaeological Museum, which is housed in the former Venetian Monastery of St. Francis. Nature enthusiasts can plan a trip to the White Mountains, which can be seen from Chania's southern horizon. Ilonda 
Ilonda is a seaside resort with stunning views of the Gulf of Mirabello. It is located on Crete's northern coast and has many hotels that offer suites with private pools or whirlpools, spas, and wellness centers. Olris, an ancient sunken city of Crete, and the Venetian fortress on the nearby island of Spelonga are two of Ilonda's most important sites. Miles of private beaches and semi-tropical gardens that look like they belong in the Caribbean rather than Greece can be found in this small town. Ilonda is also an excellent base for exploring eastern Crete, ideally by chauffeured car or private yacht. The town is about an hour's drive from the airport and port of Heraklion. Spili Spili is a small village with a mild climate, located 450 meters above sea level at the foot of Mount Kedro, between two cliff faces. It has a mild climate even in the summer which results in a very green and cozy atmosphere. Strolling down cobblestone streets will lead you to tiny shops selling regional goods and herbs as well as local cafes serving excellent coffee and snacks. Apart from the holy metropolis of Lambi, Svritos, and Fakia, and the Spili Folk Museum, there isn't much to see in Spili. It's frequently used as a stopover for those traveling to Rithno, which is about 31 kilometers to the north. There is a beautiful monastery as well as numerous quaint little shops selling dried herbs and other souvenirs. The town is lush and green at the foot of Voriza Mountain, and the climate is relatively temperate during the summer months compared to the other parts of the island. Agios Nicholas Agios Nicholas is a sleepy town with a waterfront promenade a coastal town that was once a popular Crete resort in the 1970s. It's still popular with tourists looking to avoid the summer crowds in busier towns like Heraklion. There are many mid-sized low-cost hotels near the Vilosmini Lagoon and along Akti Kondoru, the waterfront boulevard north of the harbor. On the northern outskirts of Agio Nicholas, but still within walking distance of the town center, and you'll find some more expensive resort hotels with pools, gardens, and beach access. The town is home to numerous archaeological sites, including the ancient city of Lato, one of Greece's best-preserved classical Hellenistic cities, and the late Minon ruins of Rokastro, which can be found on a steep slope near Kalo Shorio. Lautro, a lush gorge, mountains, and beaches surround the area. It is a small seaside village in western Crete near the Samaria George. Because there are no roads leading to the town, the only way to get there is by boat. Because of its rather traditional style, it provides a glimpse into true Cretan life that is rarely seen in other towns on the island. Lautro has a pleasant climate because it is surrounded by gorges and mountains. During the summer, hikers frequently visit Samaria and Imbros George. But there are several beaches including Sweetwater and Marmara that offers sunbeds and umbrellas for rent. Lautro is about 24 kilometers east of Hora Thakion, which is also worth a visit if you're in the area. Hora Thakion Hora Thakion on Crete's south coast enjoy miles of trails and sand located on Crete's southern coast near the 11 kilometer long Imbros George. It is located approximately 74 kilometers south of Chania and can be reached via a scenic route that passes through the White Mountains of Crete. During the summer, Thagia Port is frequently visited by boats transporting hikers to Imbros and nearby Samaria Gorge. You can also take a boat to nearby towns such as Lautro and the islands of Gavdos. The main harbor front of Hora Thakia is one of the busiest areas with many tavernas, restaurants, cafes, and bars serving local specialties. Fakian pie, made with fresh cheese and honey, is a must-try. Anogia Anogia Greek mythology-infused village. The hilltop village of Anogia is located on the northern side of Mount Siloritis at an elevation of around 700 meters. Parts of the municipality are mentioned frequently in Greek mythology such as the Ideon Andron, a cave where Zeus was raised, and Nida Plateau, where the goddess Demeter fell in love with a mortal named Iosion. Throughout the summer, St. George Square in central Anogia hosts a variety of musical and theatrical performances. Yakinthia is a July cultural festival held at the temple dedicated to St. Hyacinth. In addition to visiting the nearby Nida Plateau, which is part of the Siloritis range, you can visit the great museums in Anogia that showcase Cretan folk art. 
That's all for today. We hope you liked this video. Let us know in the comments, have you visited any of these charming towns and villages on Crete Island? Or do you have any other recommendations to add on the list? I would love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get new updates.